Hey, welcome. Today we are playing a game called Kyle's Famous. So it's a visual novel choice making game. So let's see what is about, about bra. Kyle wakes up. He's famous. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Stay up late with Kyle. Okay. Stay up late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year. And the public has noticed. Inside has called Kyle a most excellent dumpy white man. Oh, Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring you to explore his STEM field. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. Most online videos are based off clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. The eyes of the world is upon Kyle. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Stay up late with Kyle will be featuring Rachel May. She's a kind and lovely philanthropist. What is that? Forget that. She's dear to many heart. She is dear to the hearts of many. This interview requires preparation. Kyle cracked his eyes open, open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions wisely. Okay. Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. Exit the bed. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his bedroom. In the closet, sit at the desk, exit bedroom hallway. The closet. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark and he could not really see his hanging shirt. To the outfit. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Okay. Jeans, skunk, silk suit. Cal maliciously scrambled his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pocket were filled with random knickknacks. Back to room. Cal returned to the center of the bedroom. Uh, in the room. Cal made his way over his desk and sat down. Right note for interview. Back to room check. In this, this one. Cal wrote down his first question. Are you a mother? Am I a mother? Is your mother? <laughs> this one. Cal wrote down his second question. What are some diet tips? Maged or blended? Ever eaten a rag hole? This one. No, no, this one. Kyle wrote down this third question. What's your funniest story? Do you ever smile? I purposely run over this one. <laughs> because if I choose the other one, the popularity will go very up. And I don't want that much popularity. Kyle wrote down this last question. What's your guilty player? Do you feel guilty? Are you guilty? <laughs> Guilty play. Carl ripped his page off notes of the notebook and got up from the desk. Like to desk, Carl made his way over to his desk and sat down. Chicken drawer. Carl opened up the side drawer on his desk and grabbed one of the items stored there. Small key, sorted chain, this one. Carl grabbed the small key and kept in his desk. Back to desk. Now back to room. Carl entered returned to the center of the bedroom. Exit hallway. Kyle walked into the small hallway that connects the room of his apartment together. Checked locked doors, moved to the kitchen. This one. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Open fridge. Kyle opened the fridge intending to find something to eat. Eat a crust on fridge wall. Eat a fri eat the fridge. What the fuck? Prepare breakfast. This one. Kyle constructed a breakfast for poached eggs and toast along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. Eat it. Kyle that's a very annoying sound. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. He felt refreshed. Kyle walked to the center of the kitchen. Okay, return to hallway. And uh, we should uh, check locked doors. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway, but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. No, I don't want some shit. I, I just want to leave. Kyle walked out into the middle of the road and took a long pondering look around him. Visit downstairs neighbor. Visit tech store. This one. Kyle approached his downstairs neighborhood neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named KB answered the door. She looked at Kyle expectantly. Good morning, neighbor, said Kyle cheerfully. Gabby looked at Kyle expectantly. Asked Gabby about Gabby. Asked Gabby about Wackle. I should ask her because Gabby Carl said, What are your true thoughts about Rachel Mary? Carl hurried to the set. 
Sitting across from his horse chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. And Kyle approached her. Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Kyle responded, scream <laughs> this one. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Shake hands. After other mild exchange of polarities, Blation, I don't know this word, fuck it. Kyle and Rachel were promoted to take their places for the broadcast. Oh. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked down. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to the Stay Up Late with Kyle, introduced Rachel. Tonight I have the player to interview the interviewing the lovely Rachel May who needs no more introduction. Kyle mentioned to Rachel who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello Kyle, she said, I am glad to be here. Well, I'm sure we will have a lot of discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I am very ready, said Rachel with a winning winning smile. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. This thing. Are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know, are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of question. Uh, what's your funniest story? You have been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle. But uh, what's your funniest story? Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. I think the story I will remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. And that's hilarious. Hilarious. In the soup, I made a swap and made. I swapped out the water with milk and tipped what the frig jar in the pot. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swapped their things and locked myself in their room. Hell yeah. Rachel laughed elegantly. Kyle decided to move on because. What's your guilty player? We all have one. What's your guilty player? Ooh, well, that's an easy answer. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce, the fucky. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same time. I eat it far too often, Rachel smiled sweetly. Kyle asked another question. A burned question from the fans said, Kyle, beef, do you prefer it made or blended? Rachel answered quickly and honestly, mashed. And no more was said on that matter. After, after reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning to asking on you. Is that the case, Cal? May I ask you something in return? Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Do you prefer for your interviews in advance? Because you seem very together. Before Cal could answer, the camera shut down, the broadcast was over. Cal returned home knowing the interview had gone well. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ending all this shit, this is a late you want. I should play it again, okay? But he then wither away, Carl had to stay and put him wither away, Carl withered successfully and <laughs> shucks. Kyle is now a god, just, just, just not, does not relieve him to his responsibilities, get out of bed anyway. Kyle exited his bed and took a quick glance around his room, uh, scavenge. Kyle quickly crouched down the floor, realizing his immediate need for bugs. Kyle started to pick between the fuzz of his bedroom carpet, hoping to catch a stray beetle or two. Soon he had a small handful of various insects dead and alive. Eat immediately. Carl threw back his head and crumbled a sticky, wriggling mass into the mouth he felt refreshed. Carl returned to the center of the bedroom. Uh, exit the bedroom. And uh, check the locked door now. And uh, float as throw his ghost. Carl used his ghostly power to walk straight through the door. Carl found himself in the room he staged the various items sent to him by fans. Uh, check swinging machine. Carl walked over to the dilapidated swing machine. Its walk was only half removed. Carl found himself in the room. He stayed okay. Check supernatural artifact. This is one of the many mysterious artifacts Carl has been sent over the year. Smash. Carl began pounding the mysterious artifact with both fists. Within a few hours, it's become dust. 
An ancient force trapped in the artifact release and turned Carl into a lizard demon. Oh yeah. Carl found himself in the room. He stayed the various item. Okay. Take swing machine. Carl walked over to the deeply painted swing machine. Its bulk was only half removed. Okay, back to hallway. Uh leave apartment. Visit tech store. Carl walked into the clean white tech store. He was greeted by Techno Gym. But he was a ghost. An yellow bread cut out mask coated flashing with ask attendant for free sample is steel techno gym. Quickly before the attendant could acknowledge him, Carl grabbed Techno Gym by the shoulder. Finding that Techno Gym cardboard feet were bloated to the ground, Carl started to pull upward forcefully. After several tugs, Techno Gym broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. Carl glanced at the attendant who was staring bewildered and ran outside. Carl walked out into the middle of the road and took a long pondering look around him. Return. No. I should now leave apartment. Carl hurried to the set for normal ceased to be a ghost before he arrived. Sitting across from the host was a glamorous woman, okay. As Carl approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Rachel smiled and turned to horror as she realized she was looking not at a human but a lizard demon ghost bitch. Prep pandemonium and used. A script went flying. Crew member ran in all directions. Lights were knocked over. As Carl watched, watched the chaos chaos around him. The lizard demon form involved his last share of humanity. Carl grew to the massive size within the several minutes he had demolished the now empty set. A local force of five spunky teenagers in brightly colored apparel arrived at the scene to fight Carl. As the teenagers swung at him with their spunky individualized weapon, Carl pushed them over with his foot. Carl rampage of his studio ruins continued, but in another part of the city, a hero was rising up. A dusty apartment on the top floor of an older skyscraper in the oldest part of town sat a large man named Frank. Few people in the world knew that Frank existed, fewer knew his name. Well, Frank is a common name, I think. Frank was watching the local news, a story about the studio rampage was playing. Quickly, Frank got up from his chair. He opened a small door hidden behind a poster on his wall. Inside was an unbelievable mound of fat, bright and food, unrefrigerated and fairly rotten. Frank began to consume the mound at a frightening rate. His body began to puff. Frank expanded faster and faster with each minute he brushed through the roof. Within minutes, Frank was towering behemoth. I don't know what he said. He rolled across the city, rebounding off the building and getting cheers from onlookers below. Approaching Carl, Frank gave a long painful heave upward into the sky. To Carl, the sky turned black. He looked upward to see the monstrous figure hurtling towards him. And in the moment, Carl was completely enveloped in rubbery fat, unable to move or make noise. Frank was quite tired and passed out where he lay. Several years went by as Frank slumbered. His Kyle was held in Frank's warm, fatty embrace, his humanity began to return. When the first winter came, Frank's body recycled his fate for resources. For many months, he shrank in size. Eventually, Kyle was human and Frank was thin. They both walked away from the scene as new men. Neither realized how much time had spent. What an fucking story. Hell yeah, an Oscar for this, or Nobel Prize, when I say. So this this is the second stories. I think I will play it by myself, or may I will make another video about it. But if you watch the if you like this video, smash that like button and uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye bye. And link in description. Play the game by yourself if you want to get all the ending because if I even play in it I may get some ending not all of that okay bye <laughs>